For fantasy golf players to win, you pretty much need to draft one player, Tiger Woods. But now that the athlete is out on a knee injury, managers who didn't have the fortune to draft Woods might actually have a chance at winning the league. Here to talk more about that is WSJ's fantasy sports expert, Nando DeFino. So welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming again. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Okay, so in your column you cite WSJ sports editor Adam Thompson, who wrote an article on the Tiger Factor. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, he actually wrote, I mean, this is a common factor with leagues that Tiger Woods is so good and everyone else is, is not as good. It's not that they're bad, they're just not as good. Okay. That um, anyone who has Tiger Woods on their team is pretty much going to win. So they found all these creative ways to, uh, to avoid it, like splitting them up into monthly little portions or um, mm -hmm. just taking them out of the league entirely. And now that he's out on an injury, what does that mean for fantasy owners who have him on his team, on their teams? I mean, they're screwed. <laughs> yeah, there's not much else they can do. There. Uh, no I mean, tips for them. No, there's nothing I can. I mean, close your eyes and pick a guy to take his place. Because okay. I mean, if you do, the thing is with fantasy golf, there are three or four different ways to play. Mm -hmm. The most popular is you pick a group of players, and then you select from that little group who you want to start. They, they'll have no problem because they'll just skip over Tiger Woods. The other one is like a draft, like in baseball or football, where you actually have the guy on your team and you're stuck with him. Those guys are probably in a little trouble. Okay. Yeah. So how does uh, Tiger being out change the landscape of fantasy golf? Uh, well, it gives other guys a chance to maybe show themselves a little bit, um, you know, what they can do. It, uh, I mean, if, if you want to make the argument that fantasy sports makes people more familiar with, with people they wouldn't be familiar with, this is their chance now. I mean, I, I honestly don't know any of the, the lower golfers' names, but mm -hmm. there's some dude out there named you know, Joe Schmo who, uh, who can win a couple tournaments. I mean, yeah, it's going to be on people's lips for a little while, especially if they're playing fantasy golf and they notice them. So in your column, you mentioned how you are pretty much up for any fantasy league, um, whether it's basketball, baseball, or even NASCAR, but you refuse to join fantasy golf leagues. Why is that? I, I find it boring, to be honest. It's just, <laughs> I don't like golf. I don't care about it. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, it's, it's people I don't know who I'm trying to pick like an idiot. Like, oh, Stuart Sink, he sounds good. Uh -huh. Everything else I kind of have some kind of familiarity with. But, okay. you know, I, I can see how... It could make you more familiar with the players, and uh -huh. that could be a good thing. I just. So, thanks again for joining us this week. Thanks for having me again. Okay. So, for more on this topic, you can visit WSJ.com. And once again, I'm Christina Jang with The Wall Street Journal.